Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Dart channel, and in today's video, I'll show you my quick shortcut to add a contact to Google Contacts using my iPhone. So I use Google Contacts as my main contacts database. It is not very glitzy. Google doesn't spend a lot of time or energy updating it or making it pretty, but it meets all of my criteria. It has all the fields I need. I can access it from any internet connected device. It obviously works well with the Google products that I use like Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Maps. And since I have it set as my default contact database in my iPhone and iPad, it integrates seamlessly with my iOS apps like Mail. So I love what you can do with database, but I hate having to put data in them. My memory is terrible, but it is particularly bad with remembering numbers. So I find myself flipping back and forth between screens multiple times to populate each piece of the address, city, state, zip, number, and name. What really bothers me is when I find a business on Google search and there doesn't seem to be a way to automatically send that information to my contact database. I mean, they are both Google products. They should talk to each other, right? Wrong. So my shortcut uses an iPhone. I will show you how I add a standard contact, one from a business listing on Google, and how I add a contact from a business card. First, standard contact. So for all these shortcuts, I take advantage of the integration between iOS contacts and the other indigenous iOS apps like mail. So rather than flip back and forth between contacts and email or a browser for each piece of info, I copy all of the contact details into a new email. So I need to make sure all of the contact I want in my contact is separated on different lines without leaving any blank lines. Then I make sure everything is formatted in a way that iOS will understand it as an address, a phone number, or an email address. So I'm not exactly sure how it figures this out for addresses, but phone numbers need dashes and emails need an at sign. In order to get iOS to recognize these, I have to send this email to myself. So I do that. So now when I look at the email that I just sent to myself, I can see that all of these contact elements are now underlined, which means that iOS recognizes them as contact elements. Now, if I do a quick select on any of these, there is a default action. So for numbers, the default action is to call. For addresses, it is to show directions. So I, want, I don't want either of these. So I do a longer press to get additional options. I select add to contacts and look at this. It added all of these lines to the same contact. Now I may have to change around the labels on the numbers and edit the name, but this is so much less work. Next, Google businesses. So as I said before, I find this particularly irksome since I think these two Google services should really be talking to each other automatically. In addition, the way that the information is parsed out makes it really difficult to copy and paste all of this into an email. But look here, I can select share and then email and it will pull out the address and the phone number and stick it into an email for me. If I send this to myself and I go through the same procedure, it adds everything to a contact and I only have to put in the company name. And finally, business cards. Again, I find it excruciating to enter all of the information contained on a business card, particularly if you have a bunch of cards to put in. So here's what I do. I use an app called Text Grabber, which does optical character recognition or OCR. So that means that it figures out the text that's, in, that's inside of a photo. So the makers of this app have been doing OCR software for a long time and they are good at it. So I think it's totally worth the one-time $5 app fee. So I take a picture of this card and I choose the share button. Then I choose Text Grabber. So if after you install the app it isn't showing up in your share sheet, just go down to the more button and turn it on. So now I have to hit the arrow to have it grab the text from this photo and there is the text. Now I simply hit the share button in this app and choose to email it. And once I have the email up, I need to clean up the data so that the lines are consecutive and everything is in the format that iOS will recognize and I send it to myself. So then I can open up the email and I will add it to contacts using the same methodology. And that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.